well this is rather sad due to vandalism this church will be closed earlier in the day we are sorry for any inconvenience this will cause why would it open now no not open i was saying in earlier videos about you know vandalism in these places why would you want to vandalize why would you want to vandalize anywhere Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, just a quick video, I'm in Ifield, just near Crawley in West Sussex. And I brought you to St Margaret's Church in Ifield, in the conservation area here. The reason for that is just a bit of nostalgia, so please indulge me um, and have a quick look around. It's going to be a very short video, this with some old archive clips in. But I'll talk about, talk about that in a minute. Let's have a look. St. Margaret's is 10th or 11th century. Beautiful old church. There probably was a wooden structure on this site going back into Anglo-Saxon times. Very ancient settlement around here, very ancient settlement. Beautiful old door. Sorry, gotta do it, you know what I'm like. Oh, all the rivets. Yeah, love it. The dedication to St Margaret actually wasn't registered or recorded until 1489, which is quite late, isn't it, really? Now, the reason for my little pilgrimage down to West Sussex and here at Ifield, back in 2011, the church was used as a location for my friend Gary Andrews' film, The Spirit of Albion, which I worked on. And it was all to do with the ending scenes of the movie. It's a very, very a pagan movie and pagan folklore. And Gary, who was in my Ravenswood movies, uh, we filmed loads of scenes here. And when we came here for that first time, I was like, wow, this is an absolutely beautiful location. Although we're just outside Crawley, um, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And coming here is quite sad because there's people in that film who are no longer with us. Um, so it stirs up a few emotions. So then we had a sequel, which is a different kind of movie with some of the same characters called Tales of Albion that came out in 2016. And we came back here to film in 2014 for f um, scenes with Puck, the god, the god Puck. Um, and it was really, really beautiful to go inside, filming the interior of the church. Totally different story. I mean, the first Spirit of Album movie was, was like almost a musical, a pagan musical. This one was more narrative driven with the little tales of folklore um, spread out through the entire movie. It was absolutely incredible. I was in one, one, of, one of the sketches. Sketches? <laughs> one of the tales. Um, so yeah, we came, sorry, it's a bit windy today. So yeah, so I wanted to come back here and just sort of reminisce a little bit. It's a bit self-indulgent, I do apologise. Shame about the vandalism, that is a shame. Um, but what can you do? Yeah, Spirit of Albion and Tales of Albion. A lot of people in that movie came into my movie Ravenswood in 2012. And we skipped back and forth with, with actors. 
you know good times really good times i'd get that often asked quite a lot will i make another movie mm, probably i mean never say never but the landscape's changing i mean i used to sort of pay very you know pay expenses for my actor friends and they're happy, more than happy to do it to get it on their show reels and you know um but you can't i don't think you can do that now you can't do that now you need to be proper proper i mean these guys are all equity members and everything um but um i don't think we could do that now so there you go, St Margaret's Church in Ifield. Okay folks, third time lucky. I wouldn't normally do this, but as I'm in the area, I'm back in Charlwood, where I was only out back in the summer only it back at the summer and I'm back at St Nicholas Church built in 1080 very very old church just below the flight path of Gatwick Airport and each of the other two times I've been here one was in 2020 and then back in the summer this year it's been closed and they got some fantastic and very unique wall paintings so this could be a very short video altogether, along with the one at uh, Ifield. But um, let's have a let's have a look. So, as per my rant <laughs> on my other video back in the summer. Um, the church is open during the day, it's not. The church is open during the day, it's not. So I think us seeing those wall paintings isn't going to happen. I'm not going to try again. I mean, third time, third time. What can you do? Well, so uh, as that's not going to happen, what we are going to do is have a lovely pub lunch at the Fox Revived nearby, which uh, Gary Anders, who I mentioned earlier, the filmmaker, he, um, shut up plane, uh, he introduced me to, because it's one of his favorite haunts. We had lunch there back in the summer, it's lovely. I was gonna go there. Um, yeah, oh well, those wall paintings just don't want to be seen, do they? Well, they have seen quite a few wall paintings this summer, so it's been good. So let's go to the Fox Revived and have some nice grub. So here we are. It's warm enough for T-shirt. I've actually just taken this off because it's so warm. And, and um, walk around a T-shirt and it's nearly into December. But here we are, the Fox Revive. Let's go and have lunch. Well, that was a lovely meal. Yes, guys, it's November the 11th. I'll repeat that, it's November the 11th. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. Go figure. Uh, but a lovely, lovely pub lunch in the Fox. Uh, really nice, thank you, Gary, for bringing me here originally. What a lovely food. I had a chicken, ham and leek pie. Absolutely delicious. So yeah, there we go. Nice little video from uh, Ifield. St Margaret's Church where we did some filming back in the day 10 years ago brought back a load of memories a church in Charwood we still can't get into to see the wall paintings but a lovely pump, uh, pub lunch in the Fox so I hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe all that normal stuff we do on YouTube and we'll see you next time I'm gonna enjoy the Sun see you later